Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a plan with me and my Erin Condren for you for the week of December 3rd through the 9th. I am using the Case of the Mondays kit from Glam Planner along with some silver foiled items from Nicole Alexia Designs, Scribble Prince Co., and Sticky Sloth Designs. And then I also pulled in some glitter headers from Mandy Dreams. So starting off, I am just whiting out the lines, um, just the top two to start with, to put under the Scribble Prince Co white washi with silver bows. I really liked the way that this washi sort of brightened up the spread a little bit because there are some really deep like accent colors in this kit and I didn't want you know the entire bottom of the page to be that you know sort of darker patterned washi that came with the kit because while it is gorgeous um, it does sort of draw the eye down. Also if I sound a little bit tired while I'm working on this plan with me, uh, or while I'm doing this voiceover. I did just wake up from a nap. I had a migraine earlier today, and so, yeah, I ended up having to take a nap to try to get through it. So now I am laying down the bottom washi that came with the kit. I wasn't originally planning on whiting out the dotted lines under the patterned washi with the kit, but it did end up showing through the white parts of the bottom washi, so I just wanted to white it out. Also throughout this plan with me you'll sort of see me struggle with getting my slice tool to cut all the way through a lot of the glam planner stickers and I'm not sure if that's because I don't know like I just couldn't get the pressure right this week or I'm not quite sure if that was because I've had this kit in my collection for a couple years because I did purchase it when it first came out I think like two years ago um, or yeah, if I just couldn't get the pressure right, like I mentioned. So, yeah. Then I am going ahead and putting down three different shades of glitter header from Mandy Dreams. Um, and then I put down the quote box and then the rest of the full boxes. Again, I did line them up in the center of this week like I have been doing lately. I think that changes for next week, but I'm not 100% sure on that. And then for this week, I also did use a lot of foil overlays. Um, you'll see me sort of use the, what is it called, paint splatter ones from Scribble Prince Co. Oh, and I'm also putting down my water trackers from the Scribble Prince Co. Fall Multicolor from last year. I thought that gray matched pretty well. It's kind of more of like a charcoal. But yeah, um, so first I am laying down the full box um, overlays. I did use a sweater weather one on Sunday from Nicole Alexia Designs and then those splatter ones are also from Scribble Prince Co. I also wanted to make this kit look a little bit more wintry because it is sort of more of an anytime kit so I added some snowflake overlays from Nicole Alexia Designs and then the glitter header overlays are from Sticky Sloth Designs. Those are probably my favorite glitter header overlays because they're not too much and they're not too subtle, if that makes any sense. Plus I like that the like little sprinkly dots are slightly different sizes. The only thing that drives me a little bit nuts is that on every sheet, if you use three a day every day in your planner, like I do, um, you end up with like five at the end of the sheet, which I don't know, that just kind of bothers me that it's not seven. Anyway, so now I moved on to my sidebar. I did use the habit tracker that came in the kit as long as well as, wow, we're gonna have another as long as day, as well as a habit tracker, the gray one from Moonlight Paper Co. because the kit is an older format and it only came with one. And then I used a no, st no spend tracker from Soda Pop Studio. I then put down a this week header with a weekly box just to track my daily steps because that's something I like to track in my planner. See how many days this week I uh, hit my 10,000 step goal? I think it was three. I'm pretty sure that's a record for me for recent history, which is sad, <laughs> but you know. Sometimes, uh, sometimes life just throw th throws things at you. 
I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. Then I put down a to-do header and I cut up a checklist so that were, there were four checks at the bottom of it. And then I put the weekend banner at the end of the week because I had forgotten to do that before. Now moving on to the day by day, starting with Monday. Oh, no, I guess we're not starting with Monday yet. I forgot to put down my icons for the habit trackers for washing my hair and my bite guard so that um, face mask girl with the towel hair is from Scribble Prince Co. and the tooth sticker is from Magic Prince Co. Then I wanted to mark for the first thing on Monday that it was my brother-in-law's birthday and usually I like to put those um, little things labels above the date but because the 2018 was there I didn't want to cover it. Then I took a nope bibbity sticker from Clam Planner to mark that I had kind of a chill morning. Then I took an appointment label from the kit and a grocery cart silver foiled sticker from Scribble Prince Co to mark that I needed to go grocery shopping. Then I really wanted to use this little thing header, little thing header. I really wanted to use the little thing to mark that I watched some fairy tale, but I didn't like that the icons would have been on the same side for two items in a row because I'm weird like that. Um, so then I just ended up taking a silver foiled bow sticker from Scribble Prince Co and writing fairy tale on the page. At the bottom of Monday, I wanted to mark that I uploaded my plan with me, so I took a purple glitter film slate from Mandy Dreams to mark that. And then I wanted to mark that I I pretty much did all of the editing, voiceover, and uploading on the same day. So I spent a lot of time on my video that day. Um, and then to mark that, I used a, what is that called, flat lay sticker from Toffee Bananas. I really love her flat lay stickers, but I usually like to reserve those kinds of stickers for when I have a task that takes up a lot of time, just because they are so large. Then I cut up a checklist to mark some to-dos that I wanted to get done on Tuesday, and again I had some trouble like cutting the sticker. Like the cuts on the stickers that came from Glam Planner were totally fine. I just was struggling when I wanted to trim them down even further myself. Then I took a washi strip with a no bra day bippity because that's fairly self-explanatory. And then I am filling out my trackers in the sidebar and my water trackers as well. Then at the bottom of Tuesday, I took a, what is that? Why can I not remember what stickers are called when I go to do my plan with me? Like, I, I, I go to plan things and I know what things are called and then I go to talk about it and I'm like, mm, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> so I took an appointment label from the kit and a sick looking bippity to mark that I had a headache. And then I took a half box from the kit with a yoga bippity and boo to mark that I did some yoga. I did yoga for back pain. Um, if you guys have never checked out yoga with Adrienne um, on YouTube, she does the most amazing yoga for back pain video and it's amazing. It's like a half hour and my back felt great afterwards. Anyway, catching up to what I was doing on Wednesday. First thing I did was put down a clear coffee cup sticker from a paperella story to mark that I went to Starbucks and the Starbucks script is from whimsical plans. Then I put down a silver foiled flag from Clever Gal Crafts. I think that's from the Stella colorway to mark that I had work and that work script is from Chic Street Sticker Boutique. Then I took a quarter box from Planner Esque. It's on her old like semi-gloss paper which I love and I'm kind of sad that she discontinued it um, to mark that I did some holiday shopping with a shopping bippity. Then at the bottom of Wednesday I took a half box from the kit with a sleeping bippity and boo to mark that I had um well I didn't have to take a nap but I did because I was tired and then I took another planner ask quarter box with an icon from the kit to mark that we had some dinner with friends and then I filled in my sidebar. Moving on to Thursday, I'm pretty sure I ended up post-planning Thursday through Sunday all together because 
we had some exciting things happen at the end of the week. So the first thing I did on Thursday, again, was go to Starbucks and work. I marked it the exact same way that I did everything else on Wednesday. Because uh, <laughs> I'm just boring like that. Oh yeah, and then I took these silver foil bow stickers from Scribble Prints Co. And I used those to sort of jazz up the corner flags because I thought they were cute. Then I used a washi strip from the kit on Thursday with a tired looking Bippity and Boo because I was really feeling exhausted. I don't know why. I'm trying to remember why I was so tired that morning. I don't know. And then on the bottom half of Thursday, I used an appointment label from the kit with a laundry doing Bippity and Boo to mark that I did some laundry. And then what am I doing here? Oh yeah, I'm marking my payday with a washi strip from the kit with a gold, gold foil. No, that is silver foil. It's a silver foil payday sticker from Rose Colored Days. And then I am tracking my water. What else did I do? Oh yeah, I took a TV little thing and marked that I watched some fairy tale at the end of the night. And then I sort of had some trouble with that space in the middle because it was kind of an awkward size. It was too small to fit a half box, but if I had tried to put a quarter box by itself, it would have looked awkwardly too large. And I also didn't want to use the same washi strip as the washi strip that I used earlier on Thursday. Because, I don't know, I just thought it would look weird. Anyway, I did take a washi strip from the kit and layered over it a quarter box from Planner-esque and like a crazy looking bippity to mark that I organized mostly a bunch of documents and stuff that I had in my office area and just like a bunch of crap that was just literally all over the place. And then on Friday I went to Starbucks again and I used a Paperella Story coffee cup and a Whimsical Plan script sticker and then I used again a Clever Gal Crafts uh, silver foiled flag with a Chic Street Sticker Boutique work script sticker. Wow, I feel like this was kind of boring because <laughs> I literally went to Starbucks and work like three days in a row. Like, like, is there anything else that I do in my life? Um, yeah, is the answer to that because something really exciting happened this week, but that happened on Saturday morning, so we'll we'll see you when we get there anyway <laughs> on the bottom of friday i used a half box from the kit with a bippity and oh shoot i forgot what bippity's like boyfriend character's name is ah oh, i don't remember i'm sorry anyway i used that to mark a date night and then i also used a quarter box from planner ask to mark that we went to pet supplies plus and then on Saturday morning, I needed to mark that I went to our apartment office because I had to get a copy of our lease because we were adopting a kitty. He's a black kitty and he is two months old and he is absolutely stinking adorable. And I love him. And it doesn't matter that I'm allergic to cats because he's like so stinking cute. And I just want to rub my face in his super soft fur. But... So far, so good on the whole allergy thing. I haven't really had much of an issue, which is a good thing because I discovered Damder Wipes and those have been amazing. Anyway, <laughs> at the end of Saturday, I ended up taking a nap. So I used a half box and a bippity sticker. And then I also used a flag from the kit with a Scribble Prince Co. Kitty Girl to mark that the kitty is so cute. And then on Sunday morning, I changed it up and I went to Tim Hortons instead because... I realized that Starbucks was not going to be open that morning um, before I had to be at work. And then I marked work as I have been. And then I marked kitty playtime with this with a uh, flag sticker from the kit. And I think that's a Celeste kitty, kitty girl. Or a Celeste girl with a kitty from Scribble Prince Co. And I marked kitty playtime. And then with a half box, I marked that we had dinner with my family with an icon from the kit. And then... At the very bottom, I used a washi strip and a quarter box to mark that when we got home, we did a big dog walking walk. I don't know. We just took our dogs on a really long walk so that they would get some extra exercise because it was a lot for our two pups to uh, 
get used to a new kitten. But they actually love him, and I'm so excited that they love him so much because we love him so much. Anyway, um, in that to-do list, I actually only had three to-dos that I had to do this week, and it kind of drove me nuts that the last one was blank, but I wasn't going to just put something random in there. Here's a Viv Wiggle for you in the finished spread, and here's what I have left in the kit. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys!